I just came out to bring Cora some water and I heard some peeping. So she's got at least one baby under there. Here, hold on, I'll open this up. So she's got at least one little chick under there. I'm gonna see if I can move her and just get a peek and see how many have hatched. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, sorry. Uh, listen, you can hear it. Well, I was gonna plant potatoes today, but it's been raining all morning. My driveway is flooding. Lightning. If you're wondering why <laughs> that feather duster is out there, kids use it to scare off the rooster falco that's teasing them. That's duck eggs. Nice and clean, too. I think she's turning her eggs. How she's, see how she's kind of Doing something with her leg there. I think that's what she's doing. Turning her eggs. There you go. Just pull it. Hold on to the bottom. There you go. Yep. Pull it. Thanks. black one and the one white one out of all of those. <laughs> Look at that sky. That is beautiful. It's the first day of spring and I am so excited. It's not raining and it's sunny and it's not too cold. So we're gonna get these potatoes in the ground finally. But first, I want to show you Cora's chick. I saw it out. Let's see if we can let you see it. Isn't it so cute? It is so tiny. I'm gonna see if I can hold it for a second. It's so tiny. It's way tinier than our chickens that we hatched or that we got in the mail.
tiniest chicken I've ever seen and it is adorable. So far though, it's the only one to hatch. And it's been three days since it hatched, so. I don't know if those other ones are gonna make it or not. Are you trying to get the water? Here. There you go. So for our potatoes, we've got blue Kennebec and red Norland. These are all GMO free. And they just came in these boxes. Just um, This one had five and these had eight. So they've been sitting in my pantry for a while. This is what they look like. They're pretty small. As seed potatoes usually are, but they've got these wonderful eyes on them now. That's where the plant will start to grow from, so that's what you want. It's like a claw. Huh. I think I'm going to plant some of these red ones because they've got the best eyes on them right now. So I've gone ahead and prepared the box with soil. That's compost, straw, and soil. It's really, really nice, loose soil. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up some of these potatoes. Right in between those eyes, I want each piece to have a good eye on it. And a lot of potato, because that's gonna be their food as they, as they grow. You want at least one eye, you can have more. Hopefully we'll be able to get some more of these boxes made this week. Jeremiah's been a little under the weather. So he hasn't really felt like making things for me. So I'm just gonna set these on top of the soil with the eyes facing up. Giving them plenty of room in between each one. I don't know how far you're supposed to space them out, but this seems all right. It might make for smaller potatoes, but that's okay. So here's our potatoes in the box, and I'm just gonna cover them up with some more soil, and then I'll show you how we put the sides on. So these are all covered with soil and straw. I'm gonna put another layer of straw on it just to keep the cats out. And then when they start leafing out and start growing up, um, these boards will be screwed in all around the first level. And then as the plants grow higher, we'll keep on mounding on the soil and putting more boards up. So that by the time the plants are ready to harvest, then we'll just take the boards off and the potatoes will come out. So, um, so yeah, that's an easy way to plant your potatoes so you don't have to take up valuable space in the garden with rows and it kind of keeps them out of the way and then you don't have to dig, dig them up. I forgot that I was going to show you what I ended up doing with Cora's little house. It's a strawberry bed. They're looking good. They're getting greened up. That would be nice to have strawberries for my own garden. Look at these cats. Thanks for coming along with us again today. Enjoy the first day of spring and we'll see you next time. Hey, get out of there. Get, I just planted those. Get out. Get out, go on.